Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to appeal a locked or suspended Twitter account or X account. So this just happened to me recently. It hasn't happened to me in a, in a long time. Um, so basically, uh, the, the first thing I'm going to say is that Twitter has never uh, informed me of a suspended Twitter account, right? In other words, not, not years ago, not now. They never send you an email to tell you you know, hey, we suspended your account. So, you know, the only way I found out was by trying to log into the account and seeing that, you know, I can't log in. So, <clears throat> anyway, after, uh, uh, I mean, I did have some old notification emails, I guess, that I've been saving, where they did, uh, like, notify me for security purposes, your account has been locked, and then you would reset the password. These are old, like two, three, four years old. Um, but anyway, in this case, suspended account, I, I, I don't even know if it's been suspended for a week or a month or six months, because as in the case of this particular account, I haven't logged in in at least six months. In any case, after I noticed that it's suspended, I wanted to appeal. And to appeal, basically, I had to be logged into the suspended account, even though it's suspended, you can still log in, and then visit this link here. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description of this video, which you can click to come here to my article and, and click on this link. And it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. So your username is already filled in and your email address associated with your Twitter account is already filled in. And you just have to write a description of the problem and click submit. After you do, you get a, <coughs> you're taken to a page that looks like this. Thank you. We received your request. We'll review and take further action if appropriate. And in some cases, we might send you an email with more information. So you better have access to the email address that your Twitter account is registered with in case they send you an email requesting more information. Uh, in this case, after it was done, uh, they, they replied to me fairly quickly and basically they refused to restore my account. So, you know, the account is gone. Unfortunately, it's a six year old account, over six years old. Uh, but it was like in a, you know, gray niche, so I'm not surprised, frankly. Anyway, I, I've, I've posted some screenshots here of uh, emails I've received in the past uh, after submitting appeals for other accounts. You know, over the years, the email, you know, it has changed a little bit. You can see the screenshots here. I'm not going to read them all. Um, <clears throat> and if they don't restore your account, you know, also the emails were has have changed over the years uh, but in any case they didn't restore my account if they do I've also posted some emails of, of situations where they did restore my account uh, it's not the same account I have multiple accounts uh, so you know anything can happen but at the end of the day that's how you do it it's a simple thing you just uh, log into your Twitter account the suspended one and you visit the link I told you and you just write the description, you know, you explain why you feel, you know, you've been wrongfully banned or whatever. Uh, I mean, maybe you don't even need to fill the description, but I think it's best you do, you know, uh, even if you, you're not entirely true. I mean, even, even, even if you were spamming, just write, you know, I have no idea why you suspended me. Like, I mean, you know, the, put it in the best way that you can you know, to make your case as to why you think that, that you shouldn't have been suspended and hope for the best. And then that's all you can do, guys. In any case, uh, so I'm not happy, obviously, that my account hasn't been restored, but I am happy with how simple the process was and how quickly they got back to me. You know, I didn't have to wait for two weeks or a month for their reply, you know, because in, at least for me, as I'm waiting for them to reply, I can't create a new account because I'm still hoping they give me back my old account. And in this particular case, the account is uh, for one of my websites. So I don't want to create a new account and then they restore my old account and now I have two accounts for the same website. I mean, it's not, it wouldn't be a big deal, but still, you know, I like to have one account for one website. I'm not spamming here. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's, that's all for the video. I hope you liked it. Please uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.